hello guys and welcome back to my channel as you read by the title i'm doing a valentine's day look before it's too late so if you'd like to see what i come up with just keep watching it is like a really nice sultry valentine's day look it's totally my vibe um so obviously i start with my eyebrows and i underline my brows first with concealer and i use the covergirl concealer to underline and then i use my morphe brow cream in the shade almond and that's just the combination i've been loving lately so i do that and i fill in my brows make them as fluffy as i can which doesn't work out that well but i try my best so then I'll go in with the Milani Weekend Brow Pen in the shade Espresso and I basically do this to try to get my brows to look as natural as possible and then I'll dust, dust, excuse me, I mean wipe or brush away the concealer with this Real Techniques brush. Oh my god, I cannot speak today. And then I'll go in with the Essence Make Me Brow Gel. Again, I'm going for that fluffy brow look. Doesn't work out 90% of the time, but I try. And then again with that CoverGirl True Blend Concealer, I'll use this to prime my eyes. I really don't care what I use to prime my eyes, it's always whatever concealer I have closest to me, but this is the one I had. And then you just want to always make sure after you blend it out that you set it with a translucent powder, so that is what I went ahead and did there. So then I'm going to go in with the Morphe and James Charles palette. I don't know the names. There, there were no names on this palette. Big mistake. I hate that Morphe does that with like all their palettes that they don't have names. But I took this like brown transition shade first and I just put that in my crease. And then I used this like red mauve shade and I hit my eye. It hurt but you know you got to keep going. So I put that right under that brown shade and I just blended it and I built it up to like my desired look or like my desired color. And then I just grabbed the matte white shade from that same palette and I put that on my lid. I really wanted to keep it really minimal on the eyes and keep it as like sultry as possible. Um, and I didn't even do liner, which is what you see me doing here. I took the dark brown shade from that same palette and I did a faux wing. And I say faux because it wasn't really a wing. I mean, it was, but it was so light that you couldn't see it at all. Um, but you see me doing that. And I feel like that really gives it that sultry look. It really tones down the eye look a lot. And I'm so used to doing liquid eyeliner that this completely changed the look of my like what I was going for, but in a good way. Then I grabbed my eyelash curler, which literally did absolutely nothing because my eyelashes are non-existent, but I tried. Um, and then I used this Essence I Love Extreme Mascara. It's waterproof. I always, always, always go in with waterproof mascara. And I put on the Miami Lashes by Lily Lashes, which were so perfect for this look. And I'm priming my face using the Milk Makeup Hydro Curve Primer. It's my go-to, guys. It works really, really well, and it helps really keep your makeup long-lasting. And this is something I've been doing differently since I've actually filmed a makeup tutorial. So I've been contouring, or cream contouring, should I say, before applying my foundation, concealer, anything. It's literally the first step in my routine. And the reason for that is because cream contour is still very tricky for me, and I'm sure others can relate. And sometimes it could get messy, and it can look muddy on top of foundation, and it's... Like once it's on there, it's on there. There's not much you can do to take it off without taking off your whole makeup. So I felt like putting it on before your foundation kind of makes it easier. And if it did, does look muddy or anything, you can fix it with your foundation because you haven't put that on yet. So I've been doing that and it gives me a really nice like bronzy look, obviously. And I can kind of fix my mistakes or whatever the case is with my foundation. So that's what it looks like. It looks crazy, but don't worry, it'll look good. Then I go in with my foundation, like I said. And what I do is I put the foundation in the spots where I have no 
cream contour and I blend upwards into the cream contour as you see me doing here I don't put it on directly over the cream contour because then that would defeat the purpose but I blend into it that way it cleans it up and makes it look super seamless so that's what I always always do I've been doing that for a few months now and I absolutely love the technique and another thing I changed is that I don't put foundation on my forehead anymore you see it looking bare right there that's because I didn't put any foundation I just go in with concealer and this is the elf camo concealer speaking of um, so obviously I highlight as I normally would except I just put a little bit more on my forehead just a little bit and I blend again upwards into that cream contour those are the two big differences i've been doing and i absolutely love how my makeup's been looking um so you see me here blending upwards into the bronzer and it just i don't know i feel like it doesn't make your forehead look as harsh and it just i don't know makes it look as a little more natural if that's even possible but yeah and i'm blending it out here this is my favorite concealer ever guys if you haven't tried the elf camo concealer go get it every time i stop using it and i go back to it it's I remember why I love it so much and then I use the makeup revolution bacon blot pressed powder it's like a little brightening powder and I just put that on very lightly to the places I highlighted and then I go in with a translucent powder over the top of that and then I bake okay so here I am baking with the Laura Mercier translucent powder I've been loving it lately I forgot how good it is I feel like all these oldies are so like national treasures in my collection that every time i use them i'm like oh my god why am i not using this every day so that's what i went in with and then of course my og la girl hd press powder just to set the rest of my face and i use a very very little amount of this press powder because i already set so much of it that i really didn't need to set anymore and then i just dusted it off and again hit my eye it's it hurts so bad when you hit your eye <laughs> with a brush and it happens to me so much you got to keep pushing through um so you dust it off and with the laura mercier you don't want to leave it on for too long because it like stains so don't leave it too long and then my favorite bronzer this is the Too faced chocolate soleil bronzer and i just took this big ass fan brush and i bronzed up my face even more After bronzing for hours, you want to get the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso, my go-to. Um, it has like a light shimmer to it, but very, very little shimmer, guys. Um, it adds the perfect glow, and I absolutely love this blush, too. It's really cute, and I think it's perfect for Valentine's Day just because it gives you that really, like, rosy cheek, like, you're blushing look. It's like the ultimate, ultimate blush you need in your collection. Um, and then I went in with the Discontinued abh and mrz highlighter i wish they didn't discontinue it because it's so so good and it's like my everyday highlighter and i keep it pretty minimal on the highlighting just because i don't know i've been liking the matte look a lot but i still need to add a little bit of glow okay now for the lips the final step i use the maybelline super stay in the shade pioneer it's a classic red shade and of course you have to do the red for valentine's day um and i didn't use a lip liner which was a big mistake no it wasn't honestly that big of a mistake i did pretty good for it being free-handed but i would definitely recommend going to go get a lip liner because it makes it so much easier if you have one um but i did the best i could it honestly didn't look that bad in pictures you can notice it was like a little bit off but hey whatever and that was it for the look um i kept it super classic super sultry this is the look that i wanted it goes great with literally anything but that is it guys thank you so much for tuning in and i I hope you guys have a great Valentine's Day.